What's up guys, Frank here from The Gear Couch. And before we jump into the specifics of this pedal, I sincerely need to apologize. This video should have been done, uh, shot, edited, everything a long time ago. Um, and there was always something that, that came along and, you know, helped me back from doing it. And uh, yeah, so my deepest apologies to, to the entire Diesel crew. Um, anyways, let's jump right into this. The Diesel VH4 pedal. Now, uh, this pedal recreates channel number three of the VH4 amplifier. An amplifier that I own and use since, wow, let me think about it, 13 years now? It's, um, it's, I, I just fell in love the first time I, I heard it. It was so responsive, it sounded so balanced. Um, it, you could do everything with it, whether you you, you play down tuned or play it with a, with a regular tuned guitar. It doesn't matter, this amplifier takes everything. So, um, and channel number three can be heard on, on, I don't know, thousands of recordings by now. So many artists use this amplifier for recordings or live. And um, yeah, in terms of the controls, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, we have a three band equalizer, uh, gain control, master, presence and depth. And uh, you can use the pedal in front of your amplifier as an overdrive distortion pedal. Uh, you can also, and there's a, a separate output for that, you can also use it um, straight into your power amp, like your FX return or uh, a rack power amp that you might have. Uh, but for this video and for the song that I recorded, I wanted to try something different. I wanted to see if you could also uh, use it directly into your audio interface. And it works, you know. Um, I just used a couple of impulse responses as, uh, as a cabinet simulation to make it sound good. And you can do that as well. Um, as far as the, the build quality goes, um, I'm surprised by how light this thing is because, um, you know, in terms of this pedal is at least the size of my hand, so a little bit bigger on the pedal board in comparison to other pedals. It's pretty light, it's, it's extremely robust. Uh, I don't think you can't break this thing. And um, as far as the sound goes, uh, I think this is the closest you can get to the sound of a VH4 uh, Channel 3. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, all, you also need a power amp, obviously, but in terms of voicing um, and how it responds, uh, how the response is, haven't come, uh, didn't come across anything that, no, it's, that's like it. So um, be sure to check it out. Uh, be sure to check out Diesel's website. I'm gonna include the description and the link below. And also a link to where you can buy the pedal. And um, yeah, that's about it. Again, apologies to the Diesel crew. Um, and um, see you in the next video.